Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Sport Federation TV time, as you know, and we're of course carrying on talking about sport in the Western Cape, our various federations doing really well. And of course, the last couple of days, as you know, has been, uh, well, for a lot of people, have been Easter weekend, has been school holidays, and it is generally this time of year that we have an abundance of national tournaments taking place. Of course, as you saw from Life Saving, they had their uh, inter or at least their South African championships. We've seen other um, uh, sport codes with their uh, inter club championships, even. And so, a lot of competitions in the last couple of weeks. One of our sport codes in the province is, of course, baseball. And uh, you'll remember last year we managed to chat to them after their national baseball championships, or as they refer to as the NBC. Two of the teams that went to the uh, national baseball championships. Uh, from Western Cape, are from Cape Town, and in studio with me now, Darren Smith, head coach for the men's baseball senior side, and Bernice Swat, she's of course head coach for the women's baseball side. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. All right, so uh, let's start at the beginning. Let's start with you, Bernice. Um, CTBF, Cape Town Baseball, you're one of the teams in the Western Cape that were competing at the National Baseball Championships. How did it go? Um, we won the tournament. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had no doubt with the ladies that we had this year that we wouldn't that we would do anything but win. Yeah. Uh, we had a great team, so they all stayed together. As saw as what they were on the last day. They refused to come off that field because they want to do win this with everything that they had. Wow! And Darren, welcome to Federation TV. Yeah, thank you. I think it's the first time we got you here. Hundred percent, first yeah. time. Yeah. Same question that I asked Berenice. Uh, Cape Town men's or CTBF men's, how did it go for you guys? Yeah, I mean, we had a, a really good good tournament. I think uh, from the outset, I think we had one little upset on day one. Uh, other than that, everything went according to plan. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, I think the guys went out there this year with a bit of a point to prove after losing the trophy last year. So uh, the good news is the trophy's back home. Tell us a little bit about what you call the NBC, um, uh, Darren says, uh, day one. Um, but of course, the NBC is is a, 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 it's quite a few days. I mean, you guys take ten days, I believe, out of your out of your calendar to take care of business. Uh, yes, yeah. some of the ladies that uh, coach the juniors, they they for five days with the juniors, and then they five days with the ladies, either playing or coaching as well. Yeah. So for some of them, it is a very long time to be away, but they manage and they still give everything that they have. In the end. And Darren, um, for the National Baseball Championships, is it teams from all over the country, a lot of different age groups? Yeah, teams from all over the country. Uh, the men's team, you know, you obviously got some of the junior teams. You know, we, we had a 23U team fielded there. Under 23? Yeah. Right. And uh, so, so that, you know, we have guys of various ages, but it is basically a men's division for us. Yeah, yeah. But Berenice, you, for the national champs, you also had under 10s, I believe, there this year playing uh, some, some what looked like t-ball, um, yeah. and then you have the under 12s, you have under 15s, under 18s. It's quite a big, quite a big spread of competitors. Yeah, so with, with the under 10s and under 12s, uh, the girls play in the boys' league right. because we don't have that many girls yet. Yeah. But we were blessed this year that we could, have, we could field an under 15 and an under 18 side, whereas at the last NBC, the under 15 and the 18 girls were combined and they played against the boys yeah. as well as one or two other teams. But this year, they played against just girls. Darren, um, last year it was uh, Cape Town baseball against Gauteng baseball in Boxburg. Um, you guys lost that one. Yep, you um, guys lost that one. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the di difference, the difference for you guys this year? Because Obviously, this was now um, neutral ground. You guys are playing in, in Quebec, in the Eastern Cape. Yeah. What was the difference this year? Um, I th you know, the guys came together really nicely. We had a few trainings before we left. Um, the guys really came together. Um, you know, we're fortunate that we have a lot of pieces that are from, uh, you know, certain clubs. Um, we've tried to work on hard and establishing a culture. Um, and set the standards. You know, we try and be as professional as we can as a, as a coaching staff, yeah. and and hopefully that that uh, reflects down to the players, and the players can be a little more professional themselves. Uh, as we said before, I think you know losing last year is a point to prove, um, and I think we had some important pieces this year, some additional pitching, um, 
particularly that that allowed us to go a little deeper into the tournament before having to reuse pitches. Yeah. So uh, you know, from a strategy perspective, we could keep, you know, the likes of our national team pitches, you know, good to go for the final. Yeah, yeah. And Berenice, for you guys. Um, uh, what was the, like the preparation for, for women's baseball, Cape Town baseball? What was the preparation like for you guys building up to the NBC? Well, this year, um, I have to say it was a lot better than last year. We had help from the likes of Darren Smith with our pitchers. And there are so many other coaches um, and players, national players, yeah. that came out to us, assist us in certain areas which was great to get the help from them, which we never had last year. So it was nice to get the expertise from those to help the ladies in their respective positions. Is it, is it difficult preparing for a tournament like this where you've got to bring your athletes together from other clubs to be able to join as a team? You, obviously, people are not... Yeah. You, you've got a selection of athletes coming from different regions. It, it was. So we've got a lot of ladies from the north and a lot of, a lot of ladies from the south. Yeah. So once a week, we'd either go north or we'd go south. And during the week, they'd stay in their respective areas and just train together and get the help from their senior coaches yeah. in fielding and whatever they needed to get done. So a bit of coordinating involved yes, with that. Yeah. a lot of coordinating. D and Darren, from your side, I mean, you're now heading up uh, the, as the coach of um, CTBF senior side. Uh, same same picture. You've got athletes at different clubs, yeah. um, whether they're at Athlone A's or Boerdesig or Belleville Tigers or Grassy Park, wh wherever they're playing for. In the build-up to this, are you trying to track the players, measure their stats, I mean, you, we know that in the, in the baseball, you guys got more statistics than, than Harvard Mathematical University, probably. Yeah. Um, but, but do you have to track the, your, your athletes during the year? So, so obviously, you know, a, a large portion or a good nucleus of the players were at Budasik. So obviously, we, we were training twice a week there with Budasik anyway. So you got tabs on those guys. Um, and we're blessed to have, have really experienced senior players yeah. uh, for that A side. So... You know, for us, we didn't have to take a whole mountain of time and, and do multiple trainings. We pretty much, you know, added in one additional training as a unit uh, once a week because the teams, you know, we played almost up to the, the start of the tournament. You know, it was yeah, still our season. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the clubs, the guys were really training twice a week with the clubs. Uh, so we just put one additional training. Um, and at those trainings, the focus was more about um, getting players in different positions um, to work together, just so that I knew, for example, how a second baseman or a shortstop would flick the ball to each other yeah. on a double play, as opposed to, you know, we don't teach you how to hit. Right, right. You know, right. It was, yes, so right. it's more refining and just, hey, guys, you know, you might get a bad hop and there's a, this is how I'm going to flip the ball to you, as right. opposed to, uh, you know, let's just hit ground balls, for example. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, so it's slightly different, it's a slightly more elevated approach, um, but I think that with the, the players that we had in place, that really worked well for the tournament. Yeah, yeah. How was the competition up at uh, NBC, other than you, the Bernese, other than you won it? Um, you, you, you had some stiff competition. Um, I believe Gauteng was again challenging you in the finals. Uh, yes, they were. Um, I think they, they, there was more, more of a challenge on day one in the round robin and the second time we played them. Uh, day one, they, we drew to them six all. In the second game against them, we lost to them 6-4, right. and then in the final, we beat them 10-4, so, uh, yeah. yeah. And on, on your side, Darren, the men's competition, I mean, we know you were up against Gauteng, but yeah. there were other teams as well from, uh, from around the country. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think uh, losing to our B-side on day one uh, wasn't... You lost your B-side? Yeah, wasn't, <laughs> wasn't ideal. Is that unusual? Um, you know what, it, 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 we usually have a good run against our B-side. Uh, you know, they've, they've got... A little chip on their shoulder, they tend to approach it that way and, and make sure that they want to have a full full go at us, which is which is great for competition, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you know they end up beating us. You know they brought the game to us that and they, they gave us a bit of a harding on day day, day one. Although the results only said one run, but uh, <laughs> you know you take it in stride. It is yeah. part of the round robin. You know you got to sit back and say, okay, well, you know that's the card you've got got to de you know, dealt. So yeah, yeah. you know it was probably a blessing in disguise for a lot of our players because they've, they're used to winning yeah. <laughs> and, and winning often. So, <laughs> you know, when you take that little loss in tournament like that, it was, it was a bit of a wake-up call for some, and yeah. I think we needed it. And, uh, 
you know, we came out guns blazing the next day and then obviously went on to beat Gauteng in the round robin. You know, the guys had a really, really good approach to the game. We set up nicely for the game pre-game uh, the, from the batting practice right the way through. Um, every single player on the team literally had a solid approach at the plate uh, through their bats throughout the entire game. So, you know, that pretty much in the round robin set us up for the rest of the tournament, you know. Yeah. Berenice, what comes next for you guys now? Uh, women's baseball, Cape Town, are you going to be looking to do some... I mean, do you guys do you close your doors or do you get back on track? Um, unfortunately, we can't close our doors because quite a few of the Cape Town ladies made the national squad. So Congratulations. there's a lot of training that's going to happen now um, in, prep in preparation for the... Um, Qualifiers. Right, right. Yes, so that's next. Okay. And Darren, same for you guys. Uh, what, what, what happens for you guys now? Do, you, do the guys do off-season training? or? Yeah, I think the guys or? normally take a couple of weeks break just to, just to rest up a bit. You know, get, yeah. it has been a long season. Um, and then straight back, pretty much straight back into it. Um, there's talk of, of the SA set up the national team going overseas, uh, you know, either later this, this year uh, or definitely early next year. So that obviously requires a lot of prep. Um, and I think that there'll be a whole bunch of uh, CTBF and Western Cape players in that, in that setup, I would imagine. Yeah, well, uh, considering your result from the, from, the, um, from the Nationals now recently, uh, it wouldn't be much of a surprise. Western Cape <laughs> baseball definitely dominating. Yes. Uh, Darren, thanks for joining us. Congratulations again. We Thank you. can't wait to get you guys back in studio. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Yeah, same to you. There we go. It was great being here. There we go, folks. Uh, Western Cape Baseball and the uh, districts within the Western Cape, in this case, of course, Cape Town Baseball, uh, going to the national championships and uh, dominating, coming back with, uh, with a gold medal. Uh, folks, that's a wrap from us uh, this evening. Uh, we'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Have a fantastic sporting weekend. Bye-bye.